Hello, thank you so much for coming back to watch this week's snack taste test. So today we're trying another light ice cream. It is the Enlightened. This is the movie night ice cream and it is only 90 calories per serving and it has more protein and less sugar. So this has five grams of protein and four grams of fiber. So if you'd like to hear more about this product, then please keep on watching and let's get on to the taste test. So we tried, oh, what was that really horrible stuff that we bought before? Halo Top. Halo Top. I did buy a Halo Top again, because it was on sale, and it's a blueberry one. I wanted to try it. It was on sale for 99 cents, but this one retails for $2.74 for the pint, um, and it was on sale for $0.75, cents. so wanted to pick it up and try it, but if you ate this whole entire pint, you'd be right underneath 400 calories, so I think that is a little bit better than a lot of ice creams. Um, I bought a pint of ice cream a couple, like a month or two back, and it was over a thousand calories for the pint. So, I mean, yeah. But this is the movie night. So this is kettle corn, um, kettle corn ice cream with chocolate and swirls of caramel. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a go. But it's light ice cream. So two and a half grams of fat, um, 18 grams of carbs, seven grams of sugar, and six grams of alcohol sugar. I don't know what the difference is, but okay. To experience full flavor, let it soften. Soften. Well, that's okay because that's kind of weird. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't. It looks better than the Halo Top. That's what it's looking like. I've never had popcorn flavored ice cream. Whoa! It is very hard. It is rock hard. I can see what they mean by letting it soften. Did you get a did you get a caramel swirl? I didn't get much of anything. Okay, here. Because I can kind of tell you didn't get very much. I'm trying to get some caramel. Texture's a little off. It's not as bad as the Halo Top. No. Um, it also to me has a little bit of that sugar free, I think it's the alcohol sugars, the sugar alcohol in it. It is leap and bounds better than the Halo Top. I could totally like, oh yeah, it's real ice cream, like, you know what I mean? It's, it's definitely got that vibe of being a real ice cream. Texture is a little bit off, aftertaste is a little bit off from the sugar alcohols. I don't think it's bad though. Did you taste much corn, kettle corn flavor? No, no it tastes like cookies and cream with caramel. Okay. That's what it tastes like to me. Yeah, I don't. Taste this isn't bad at all. Um, if I did find this on sale again, I would totally pick it up. I'm totally jumping ahead. I'm sorry, but um, if you had to give a scale of one to five to the Enlightened Movie Night ice cream, I'd give it a four. Okay. Decent. Totally would give this a four as well. Very first ingredient is skim milk, so that could definitely be that texture issue, because like. Full fat ice cream is made with obviously cream and all that. It's not bad though. I mean, I would totally buy this again. I wouldn't buy it for like the almost $3 for a pint, but even if this was $1.50, $1.99, I'd still probably pick it up. I was really worried about the flavor, the movie night, but it's not bad. No, thank goodness it doesn't taste like popcorn. It's not it's bad at all. Bad. I'm totally gonna enjoy this because I'm trying to eat better. So when I really need something sweet, I'm going to totally enjoy this, but totally see what they mean about for a better experience, let's soften, because it's pretty hard. And with it not having a ton of fat content, I can understand why it gets yeah. super hard. So if you tried Halo Top and you were a little bit disappointed, definitely recommend the Enlightened. Really good. And this is kind of a weird flavor. I think that's why it was on sale, but heck yeah, totally good, totally worth picking up. And it's not bad at all, so there we go. 
But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this week's snack taste test. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. I'd love to know down below in the comments what is your favorite low-fat or fat-free um, kind of dessert slash sweet slash snack, if that makes sense. Love to know down below. And just so you know, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all at Budget Boy and Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.